you doing? Hi. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's my baby's first birthday. So I'm deciding to vlog today to basically document this first birthday, not only for myself, but you guys get to watch, I guess, too. So I decided to vlog today to document her first birthday and to have for memories, of course, but then also it's fun content, too. So my husband and I took off of work today to spend her first birthday with her, and I think I've already cried like a million times already, but it's okay. I just opened up my closet. I'm gonna figure out what I'm wearing for today. I'm not really sure what is on our agenda today. We really don't have like a major plan for today, but I think we might take her to the botanical gardens. We were gonna do like the aquarium or something, um, but it's kind of far out. Then I thought about the zoo, but it's still kind of cold. So I think we're just gonna go to the botanical gardens. They have like a koi pond and stuff and it's like really cute. And then um, take her out for ice cream, for her first ice cream. Yeah, I also have to go to Target, so we have to do like real errands today um, and like party prep for her today because her birthday party is on Sunday. So anyways, I'm currently setting up like a little photo situation here. Um, I'm going to get that set up for her little first birthday photos. I didn't organize a photo shoot for her. I just, I didn't really want to. I kind of wanted to just do it myself um, and maybe do a real photo shoot situation for when we're doing family photos. So for her first birthday photos, I'm going to take them. Steve's going to help me. I might use this camera or I might just use my phone. I haven't decided. But I have all the equipment to do stuff like this. So I might as well just do it myself. Um, I'm going to go get some of her balloons and like her one balloon that I bought for her birthday. And set that up too and make it like all cute. I'm bearing balloons. So I got this one. If you guys saw my last vlog, I was talking about her birthday party prep. And I got this number one balloon in like this like sandy beige color because we all know I love beige um and then I got her a bunch this came in a pack of these flowers in different sizes there's even one bigger than this one um I'm gonna use them for her birthday on Sunday but I figured why not use them for like little props and photos I'm just using like a blank white sheet for her photos I used to have like a whole backdrop system, but uh, it's either at my parents or I sold it. I don't even remember. Okay, now I gotta get her dressed. I know I want her to wear like a little white onesie shirt, just keep it simple. We could do an all white and cream look so she could wear these pants. We could do some rust color pants. Or we could stick with the daisy theme and add daisies, so. Daisies might be a lot. <laughs> Smay, what do you think, honey? Yay! What did you say? What do you think of this balloon? You're one! Dressed, ready to go celebrate this baby. I'm literally wearing the most boring outfit ever today, but it's not about me. It's not even out of our street and I already forgot something. Hey, back home. <laughs> okay, I also forgot my phone. <laughs> so third time is a charm. But we stopped at CBS before turning back home. Luckily we live close to everything, um, but I picked up some more disposable cameras. Um, since Esme was born, I've been photographing her life on disposal cameras and I ran out. So I haven't had um, pictures of her probably since like her ninth month birthday or so. So I picked up some more because I want to use some today and then for this weekend for her birthday party. So got some more. Um, but it's like my favorite way to document her life because I mean, yes, we take pictures on our phones, but I'm never going to remember to print them out. And knowing me, something's gonna get accidentally deleted. So <laughs> she'll have forever photos like we had when we grew up, so yeah. I'm happy I went back in because I also forgot my mini deodorant and my hormones, my pits are stinking a little bit, so. I don't know why you put that on YouTube. It's real shit. It, it seems like a hopping day to come to the botanical <laughs> gardens. That's the cutest birthday girl I've ever seen. You ready? Are you ready to go, cutie?
day lunch at Chick-fil-A. We went to Chick-fil-A in my last vlog. I mean, it only seems right to take you to the happiest place on earth on your birthday. <laughs> We're skipping her second nap right now and I know I'm a breastfeeding mother. Alright, we're done at Target. Wait until you guys see the shoes I Steve thinks they're so ugly, but I mean they're ugly. They're like ugly cute. If that makes any sense. I'll do a whole Target haul when we get home. Um but my friend has these shoes in the Gucci version at Target. You know how every fast fashion place comes out with their own version? Target has come out with their own version and I'm gonna show them to you guys when we get home. All right, also ignore the bed. <laughs> it's like my coat that I thought I was gonna wear and then it's a disaster for me setting up that whole set for, that's a nice little photo shoot. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what we picked up from Target. So many cute items right now for spring for kids. My Target was sucking lately and wasn't having good stuff and then they finally put everything out. So um, I'll show you guys what I picked up. Of course, I'm gonna link everything for you guys down below. If you guys have a little girl or um, have a reason to shop some of these items, uh, you know where to find it. So you know those transition points in parenthood where like they change diaper sizes or they change clothing sizes and all that stuff like that's a huge monumental thing especially when you're first time parent but the one part that I was not prepared for to make me like as emotional as it did was going now that she's hit 12 months she's a year old she can kind of inch her way into the toddler section she's still pretty tiny so like she can still fit into like six to nine month and then she's definitely in nine to 12 month clothing so like she's kind of in this iffy point and then depending on how some of the clothes are made she can still fit into 12 month clothes she's like it's like weird but she's she's really really long but she's just like a tiny girl so um, she's finally inching her way into a little bit of the toddler section because they have 12 month sizing over there, like pants and stuff. And that point where I realized that we were kind of going into the next section and we were getting away from the infant section, I like literally almost cried. <laughs> it was so sad. But, um, so I just picked up some stuff for her, um, like stuff for summer and spring. I know she's probably going to get a lot of stuff on Sunday for her birthday because her family, like, our family loves to spoil her, especially with clothes. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be buying her clothes. But um, I couldn't help myself. So <laughs> we got her like this little... Cat and Jack brand is actually always a good brand to shop. They're like usually really inexpensive. And you can just get like really good deals and stuff with them. So like all these shirts were $5. But I just got her like a little daisy shirt. It's so cute. I am not someone to put my kid in too much color. But... With girls, it's like you kind of fall into it and you just love it so much. So this, we got her that shirt. Steve picked out this one because he loved the rainbows. So we got like just like a little rainbow t-shirt for her. She has a Thrasher skateboarding tee. We're like an edgy family, okay? My husband used to be a skateboarder. Um, so we still kind of get into the skating style. And her, my husband's friend got her a Thrasher pink thrasher skateboarding t-shirt and it's literally my favorite t-shirt ever i want to get her more because it's just so freaking cute <laughs> so i want to get her that and like little band tees and just ba basically make her my mini me also for easter i got her this cute little dress i realized i had nothing prepared for her for easter so she's gonna wear this on easter and if it's too cold then i'll just put like a little short sleeve or a long sleeve shirt underneath it and it still can be worn I think I was just feeling, yes, it comes like with little bloomers too, which I think is so cute, but yeah, such a cute dress. This was $18. So cute for Easter. So that'll be her outfit. And then we were walking around and I was getting frustrated because I was like, I wish they had like cute sweat sets. Like Zara is like one of my favorite places to get sweat sets and as well as H&M, but Zara has like really cute, fun and different ones. And I feel like a lot of people I know, they don't really shop at Zara too much. Like everyone knows me. I am literally 
half of my closet is Zara. So I was like kind of wishing I could find some sweat sets while I was at Target. And then we turned the corner and went into the toddler section and they had some and they had them for 18, 12 and 18 months. So I got her 12 months because like I said, she's still so tiny. And by the time she's 18 months, we're, we're in the dead center of summer. So I figured 12 months was fine for now. And she's still pretty tiny. So she'd be able to fit in this for a while, but it's just a little matching pink and floral little sweat set. I just thought that was so cute. It's actually from one of my favorite brands that just got added to Target, uh, Grace and Mini. I also picked up this little like tie-dye hoodie too. I thought this was so cute. Um, since we live in Buffalo, it gets like still so cold in the spring. So this was cute. And then it could work too in like early summer on like cold nights and whatever. So thought that was super cute. Oh my God, this sweat set, so freaking cute. Same brand, Grayson and Mini. And it's a little checkered pink sweat set. Oh my God. I just think that's the cutest thing ever. So definitely our family vibe for sure. We love the checkered print. So picked those up. Oh, we also got another t-shirt. This purple striped tee I thought it was so cute. Her skin tone looks so perfect with like purples and pinks, like true girly tones, um, especially blue. Blue is so pretty on her, but I just thought this purple would look really pretty on her. So got her this little striped shirt. I got everything in 12 months because then she can wear it right away. I'm, I get too eager. I don't like it when things sit in the closet too long. Also, I just ran out of my brow gel and I've been using the e.l.f. Brow Lift Clear. This is really good. Emily Kaiser, if you guys watch TikTok, talks about it. And so I tried it originally from her and I actually really love it. So gave it a try or I picked it up again. It's It doesn't keep your brows in place like super, super stuck in place, like glued down. Like the best one to do that would be the Got To Be Hair Gel. But if you want like a good cheap alternative, like just something quick and easy, this is really good too. And it cleans off really nice. Okay, so now to the item we've all been waiting for. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw this. But let me find a picture so you guys can see the what I'm talking about, the similarities. But we were scrolling, we were strolling through Target. And I always like to check out the shoe section because Target generally has some like good shoe options. Um... And when we were walking through, I was like, oh my god, those shoes look just like the Gucci ones that I've saved in my cart for a very long time. And I just keep forgetting about them. But also, they're $550. And does that seem like a practical purchase? Not really. So, <laughs> I've even considered buying them off of, like, the gate, if you guys know what I'm talking about, um, website to, like, get them looking almost identical but they're obviously fake um and then i saw these on target's shelf and i was like i should just buy them okay so these are the shoes from gucci that i'm talking about they're like a clog mule type slide on shoe they're bulky they're kind of like ugly but cute that's the style ugly but cute right so these were the ones that were at target and they had them in two colors black and then this creamy white color but you guys literally almost identical without the logo they're almost almost the same shoe so here we go okay so i'm gonna give these a little go and see if i like them i could always return them if i don't end up wearing them within the next like couple days but if i feel like i love them then i know if i want to buy the gucci ones or if i think that this is just enough of a purchase and i'll just leave it at this they definitely have to be someone's style um like i have a very weird sense of style where i could go from one extreme to the other i could be preppy i could be biker i could be edgy i could be like i just feel like every day i wake up and i'm like i want to wear this today or i want to be this today like my sense of style sometimes does not make sense but i feel like these fit in with that so i had to get them my friend nicole has the actual gucci ones that i showed you guys she came over once and was wearing them and i was like those shoes i have those saved in my my cart she loves them and then i sent her a video and i was like should i just buy these and give it a go and she's like buy them i guarantee you're gonna love them she's like just get them just get them so i usually do things if she supports it too all right, so we're home now for probably the rest of the day, although I do have to go back out later tonight, probably after dinner, and like go to the grocery store and just get a bunch of stuff for like her cake and whatnot. I'm gonna go play with her for a little bit and get dinner going and stuff, and then I have to go back out later. So we'll see where the rest of this vlog will take us. 
we were gonna do ice cream and stuff for her birthday but i don't know i don't know about that now because i don't want to give her ice cream too close to bedtime because then she's gonna be wired so maybe we'll just save that for sunday but i want to do something special for her so i don't know we'll figure it out but I'm just gonna go play with her and spend some family time with her. And then, yeah, I'll see where this vlog picks back up and takes us. I wanna show you guys my little finds I found at Joann's. And if you didn't watch my last vlog, you wouldn't know, but definitely watch it to get filled in. Um, the theme for Esme's birthday is like my first bee day. So there's bumblebees and then watering daisies. And they freaking had the little icing toppers and like sprinkle kits. How perfect is that? So, picks up, picked up some of those because I'm doing her cake and her cupcakes. And then my husband, he's behind me so he can hear me, had the idea of getting this little fondant mold and then doing melting chocolate to make the honeycomb because I was trying to figure out how I can make the honeycomb print and then he came in with the idea. So there we go. But yeah, everything is set up. I'm doing her cake and her cupcakes, so we'll see how it comes out. And I'm going to vlog on her birthday, so you guys can do that later. Okay, girls, what's today? Esme's birthday. birthday. Party day! Oh, the birthday girl's arriving. <laughs> we gotta show you the room. We gotta show you the room. Okay, let's go look at the room. We set up for her birthday. We got a number one. We got Happy B Day. Balloons, cause the girl loves her balloons. No, let's get let's get her in. Went a little crazy. Got some balloons up here. A little high chair. My buddy Crocker came out. I made cupcakes and I made her first birthday cake. Everything's on Amazon. I think Does I linked it in one of my video. This has my eat cake. She's gonna eat cake today for the first time. Hi, birthday girl! Oh, are you so excited? Hi! No. It's your birthday party! Oh, no. Wow, I know. Look, mommy got you balloons. That's me. No, no, your shirt too. Bye. Queen B over here. We gotta get we gotta get Beyonce playing. a few pages real Read quick. Read us a few pages. Fun <laughs> story time? No. <laughs> I stutter, I can't. Thank <laughs> you. 